Today I'm going to show you how to set up a base environment variable, which is dynamic based on the environment you're in. Say you're in Sandbox, it'll pull that base environment URL. And if you're in production, it'll pull that. And even on these playgrounds and Trailhead, it will pull them as well. So the first thing to do is start with the subflow. You can do this within the flow too, but it's kind of handy to have it on its own. And just reference it as you need to because the formula is a little much to kind of remember. It's basically a copy and paste thing. So the auto launch flow starts with the, I have it set as the decision. I'll expand more on this flow in the future, but for today I'm just going to show you the get base URL. So it starts out with the variable, this get base URL. So this is set as a boolean. And the key thing here is available for input meaning you can pass something into this. So if this variable is set to true, then we'll go get it, basically. If not, we'll skip it. It's kind of an efficiency thing. If there's nothing set here, we'll go down the chain as I build this out in the future. So what this does, this base environment URL, is just the text. We're storing this so this is available for output meaning we can bring it back out of this flow to use it in our screen flow or in some kind of email things like that i'll show you that next so what this does is this formula this basically dynamically finds say in this example everything dot com to the left and how i'm building this is you can pass in just the dot com and then after that you just pass in the record ID, say account ID, contact, case, and it will forward you. So it's a very simplified way of doing things. So we'll save that and we'll go back to the flow. So in this main flow we would go to the subflow name it whatever you'd like and this you set to true because we want to check for it and then here, I just copy this. You want to create a variable to store this so you can use it. Text, leave everything else default. So this is the input, this is the output. So we're storing it. So we'll go here. Let's actually do a get records. So let's find just a random account here. That's good. So we're getting an account, account ID equals that, it's kind of manually set for this test, kind of see how this works. So on the subflow, so here we can do the, the base environment URL, and right after that you get the account. ID and that would be the URL. So say if you want to create a link, copy all this, highlight it, paste it there and then that's a link. So it would kind of be the same thing like you were creating a text template and be the same kind of thing. It's like it's an email body for example. We'll put that in here just to kind of see how this works as well. Okay, so a couple examples here. Save it. So here's the full link, as you can kind of see how it would work. So that's the full link. That's it. Convert it into a link, and then here's our email or text template, email body. So say we click this, we'll go right to our edge communications. So very, very handy. You don't have to create all this stuff of the accounts. So if it's a case, you don't have to do this whole path. You just do need to do the object ID, the primary ID. 
So that's how that works. Let me know if you have any questions. I will expand on this. What I kind of call the ultimate subflow is this. I'll expand on this. I will show more on this on the future. Let me know if you have any questions. See you next time.